Hey, I'm Josh with The Foil Shop, and this is Patrick. Today we're talking about the Project Cedrus Mast. We get a lot of phone calls and questions asking about the mast, how it works, how it comes, and this is our chance to show you what we ride and how we use it. Basically, when you get the mast out of the box, this is what it's going to look like. This is just the mast with no plates, no adapters on it whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, what's next? Well, so the first thing you notice when you get it is you've got one end that's got like the full flat and then the other end is, looks like it's missing a piece. Don't worry, it's supposed to be like that. Um, that is the plate end. So you can tell, you know, you got your graphic. That's what you want people to see when you're riding, right? So that's the plate end. So plate just goes right in. It, you know, just sitting there, it kind of feels weird. But once you um, bolt it down, make sure you put a little bit of, you know, little Loctite in either on the threads or in the inside itself and then you the just... Loctite's optional right because I, I don't use the Loctite I tend to take my base plate off when I travel with it and stuff like that but if those screws ever back out on you or start to loosen some guys have that experience and some don't if they loosen up put the Loctite in there it's not an issue the masts ship with a small tube of this Loctite so you can um, use it at your discretion yeah, if you're going to be traveling a lot, which that's one of the like, one of the huge things about this mass is how much it breaks down. Like every piece can break down flat. So if you're traveling a lot, then you maybe not want might not want to use the Loctite. But for me, like I never want to leave Huntington Beach, so I just leave my stuff bolted. I leave my foil on my board with everything if I could. So but yeah, just like that. That's what you're getting, and now it's nice and solid. If you're bothered by the short collar on here, they do make a heavier duty, uh, high impact, or what do they call this one? This is just the heavy duty uh, base plate, mast plate. So you can get one with a deeper collar and that adds a little bit more stability. Patrick is one of the only guys we know of that needed this. And uh, for everybody else, that's just a regular foiler. The lightweight one works. It, you, can, you can pick and choose which one you prefer. Yeah, my, mine's about 30% thicker um, on the actual plate itself. This one you can kind of see is cut out and like skeletonized. Mine's just the full solid and it's thicker on the thickest part. And then the call is thicker as well. Um, so it adds weight, but if you're doing like airs and stuff, right. super helpful. Adds weight, but yeah, if you're doing airs, if you're really cranking on turns, um, if you're a bigger rider, you know, I'm 200 pounds. So for me, it makes a, little, makes a difference, you know, having the heavy duty plate versus the, the, the smaller one. Here's some of the adapters. This is a custom adapter that we printed up uh, for one of our, for Ono, <clears throat> for Ono Foil. And we typically will use metal tape if there's any play. You know, they make these uh, mast adapters to be very specific to the manufacturer's specs. But in each fuselage, the mast pocket can be a little bit larger or, or tighter. So they have to err on the side of caution. Sometimes there's a millimeter of play. You just put a little bit of this uh, metal tape, HVAC tape on there, and it seals it up or, uh, you know, tightens it up really nicely. Yeah, and over time, just using it, you know, if you have um, aluminum on aluminum, you know, coming in and out, it's going to, you know, take off a little bit. It's going to widen it. It's going to open up a little bit. Same thing with the carbon ones. I'm sure you've experienced, you know, lift riders going from carbon to carbon. They do loosen up a little bit just from sliding in and out. Yeah. So um, if you're not going to recast the carbon and, you know, make that head tight, you know, nice tight fit, you can always just with these, with the aluminums, just put a little bit of tape on. Works great. Well, here's an example of lift. We just use one tiny little piece because it only needed it at the top of the, the mask pocket. Just that little extra contact is all I needed. That's it. So... That's great there. Uh, we got, this is like a signature one. This is the Takuma. Don't be afraid when you see all the hardware. It's because you've got the two bolts that drop in that actually adapt. And then Takuma has their three. Uh, yeah, so you can see it's kind of made up like that. And uh, then Takuma has their three uh, attachment screws. Axis, similar kind of concept. You've got your two that go all the way through. And it's a tight fit between the two bolts but it works perfectly. Those are gonna go there, and then you just got your fuse screws that are gonna attach your fuse, and you're ready to roll. The other thing to note is that the Cedrus masks and adapters are designed to work with your original hardware. So Project Cedrus does not ship adapters with the screws that go from your 
fuselage into the masthead. So you're going to want to keep and save your original hardware. That's why I've left, this is my adapter here, I've left my Takuma screws right here on the top to, to use with this adapter. When you want to go back to your original Takuma mast, if you would ever want to do that, pull these things out and they work just the same. So, I mean, that's the assembly. It's not as intimidating as it looks when you first get it. Um, I know, like, we've gotten a lot of emails from customers. Hey, what do I do with this piece? Where does this one go? I think this is wrong. Uh, Kyle himself gets a lot of emails and calls and, and like, just confusion. So that's it. Real simple. Plate goes on the funky looking end. Adapter goes on the flat end. And then the hardware that he does send you which will usually be one looking like this. This is what goes all the way through. So through the adapter into the mast, and then you just use your same regular hardware to adapt to the adapter. That's it.